Okay, so we're back again, and today we're going to uh, replace the clutch master seal, uh, the clutch master cylinder seal that is basically starting to break down. These are a chronic problem with these. If I have some pictures, I'll throw them up. This seal has been basically going out for the last year. Uh, the what the fluid inside the the reservoir gets extremely dirty. This, the, like I said, this is a chronic problem for these. These seals can be sourced very cheap from an Aprilia dealer. I think I give eight or nine dollars for this seal and I've actually never replaced uh, the seal on one on this bike uh, or any of these bikes so this ought to be pretty interesting. The, uh, the Ducati seals uh, are about the same thing you know it's a whole Brembo system um, but what I'll do is I actually have an engine over here on the on the workbench and I've got an extra master cylinder so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna tear that one apart that's over on the workbench and the seal it's same year uh, 98 through 2003 is all the same year stuff so we'll pull that master cylinder off and get the replacement seal and then rebuild it and then pull this one off and then install the rebuilt one back onto this and bleed the system and hopefully we'll get rid of the problem um, if it's not the problem it might be the fluid but I don't think it's the fluid uh, this bike is a 2001, so you got to remember this bike is two, it's 2019 this year, so this bike is 18 years old. And when you have bikes that are 18 years old, seals are going to leak, uh, fluids are going to get dirty, and you know the brake fluid and cl clutch master, cil the master cylinder fluid really should be replaced every year or two years, um, just just to keep good fluid in there. A lot of people don't do it; they just neglect it. But uh, yeah, so we'll get started and we'll go over here to the workbench and we'll start tearing that one apart and see what we got here. Okay, so I've got the engine, the extra engine that I have. If you watch my other videos on the uh, op Operation Aprilla Melee that I didn't finish this bike, this engine came out of that bike and I bought this engine and it had dropped a valve and broken the valve head off as you can see on the piston here I'll put up pictures you can see in the piston here that the piston <laughs> completely destroyed the engine uh, that's pretty good teardown video uh, I don't know if I can work the suggestion box up here or somewhere I'll put the suggestion box up and see if I can get the link if not it'll be in the description below but what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and pull this this master cylinder off and there may be fluid in it um, this engine had sat for a while on my shelf and extremely heavy I couldn't believe I put it on a shelf that high but we'll go ahead and get the master cylinder here um, pulled off and then you know see what's going on inside this one this, this should be good this this bike only had 6,000 miles on it too when it got destroyed so we'll uh, we'll get this pulled off and see what happens so when you go to pull this off the bike it'll be on the sprocket side of the bike and there'll be three well, I believe they're Allen's, Allen heads, and you'll have to remove all three of the bolts to get it off of here. And one of them is actually, you'll see here that this is your spacer for your fairing, so it keeps the fairings from bopping up against your engine. Make sure that that piece goes back on, and we'll just remove it here, that bottom one first. Don't lose all these parts. You don't want to have to replace these bolts. And it's pretty simple here, and there should be a spring system type inside of this. But like I said, I've never taken one of these apart. These are all basically the same, same design. And you're going to need new crush washers. Remember that if, you, if you're if you going to do this. Don't reuse those crush washers that are going to hold your line on there. And we'll go ahead and get this pulled off of here. Okay. Now this will be your clutch master cylinder here. That's kind of weird that had grease on it.
and we'll pull this apart. We'll go ahead and pull this apart and uh, I'll move this camera over right because I'm, I'm shooting with two cameras now. Okay so we've got the master cylinder and the master cylinder housing pulled off and if you're doing this on your bike make sure that you don't get any of the uh, clutch fluid onto any painted surfaces because it'll strip that paint right off. Try to clean any of that off as soon as possible. And on here we'll just go ahead and remove this bleeder screw. There's your crush washers. You're, you're going to need crush washers. I th I'm not sure. They ought to be M10s, but I'm not 100% sure. And then though this basically is spring. There should be a spring in here and a seal. And i got gloves on. See if I can pull this out. Okay. And there's your housing, and it's full of that, that fluid. <laughs> that fluid's nasty. Full of uh, dot four fluid. We'll clean that all up. And then here's your spring and your seal here. And this is the seal. I don't know if you can see this. This is the seal that'll start breaking down because it's in contact with the fluid inside of the housing. You need a good seal there so it doesn't leak too. So, And I can't remember. I've got to actually go find the seal. There should be a certain... Okay. When you install this seal, you'll see that there is a... It's going to have to go... It's not just a universal type seal. It will have to go this side up. There's actually a group... I'll, I'll get into this once we get the new seal. Let me go grab that new seal. Okay, so I managed to find the to get worried there I'm starting to get so much stuff if you watch these videos in the front of my on the intro I've got labeled that I'm gonna that I have an eBay um, page and I actually haven't got that all set up or I've I, man, I started cleaning my garage and I've just got so much excess stuff I think it's time to start getting rid of some of this stuff and I've got and I'm working on some other things so you're gonna want to check out that eBay page I'll let you know once I start posting stuff but on this seal here the side that goes toward the spring actually has a cut in it here. So this side needs to go up toward the spring, toward the housing when we go to take this apart. And I'm going to actually clean these up, get all this fluid out of here. Then we'll want to clean this old fluid off of here as well. I'm going to try not to remove the spring and leave it set and just remove this seal. And we'll see if I can get this seal off of here without damaging it. I'll be honest with you, I think I'm just going to cut this seal off. It's uh, not wanting to cooperate to get off of there. There we go. And just take your time doing this. You're in no rush to get this done. go get this seal off remember which way I told you to put that on and this new seal is wow it's a lot harder than the other one a lot harder that other one's been sitting I mean when you have them set with brake fluid what do you expect to happen Actually, I'm not wondering if I shouldn't put a little bit of uh, some kind of lube on that to get that over that. Because I hate to, hate to pull on that. Might have to take my gloves off. 
I think I'm gonna have to. And what we'll do is we'll just kinda hopefully get this to roll around. You don't wanna be too too tough with it because you don't want to rip it. I've explained to you before that I do I do not have an Aprilia dealer around me. Everything I order has to come from AF1 Racing. Okay. So we've got that on there. Be careful with this and just go around it and push it into the housing. there we go as you can see we're going to be ready to install this back into the assembly uh, what one little trick here is take your screwdriver and be very careful doing this and kind of go don't press down on this but just go around and twist this in a circle until you go all the way around it to make sure that that is gonna seal up and is in the housing maybe might have to push down a little bit on the seal to get it to go in There you go. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we've got the uh, other master cylinder rebuilt with the new seal in it, and it's actually extremely tough to push on. Let's try to get you. Well, I'll mess with that in a minute, but I'll show you how, how it should seal rather than extrude out. You can really tell the one's wearing out when it starts to come out. So, um, but what we'll do is we'll go ahead and I'll remove this cap here and we're going to bleed the entire system here and get all the fluid out of it and then we'll remove this master cylinder. But this master cylinder should, you should push in on it and it should pop out but not pop all the way out, but the spring should activate on it and then uh, you know you've got a good good new clean seal inside there and then we'll I'll start the reassembly process here
Okay, so I've got my pneumatic uh, brake bleeder here, and we're going to hook it up to the air compressor, and then we're just going to drain all the fluid out of this, and you can see in the brake cup, in the bottom of it, how much of the seal is actually broke down inside the brake cup. It's actually really bad once the bike sets, and we'll just suck all this fluid out of here and try not to, to try to avoid as much mess as possible. And you really want to make sure, like I said, that this fluid doesn't touch any painted surfaces, and if it does, you need to clean it up right away. Especially, you don't want to get this on your fairing or anything, but we'll get this all hooked up here, and you're going to need an 11 millimeter and a 14 millimeter, and the 14 millimeter is going to go on the bottom of the, the banjo on the bleeder, on the master cylinder bolt, and then your bleeder bolt is going to be 11 millimeter, and you're going to crack it open. It's just like doing your brakes. It's pretty simple stuff, but we'll get this all hooked up and uh, get this bled out. And if you've never used one of these pneumatic uh, brake bleeder tools, these are one of the best tools I've ever used. Some of these, once you get into the master cylinder and uh, the front brake, and you have the bleed the bleeder on the on the actual front brake and the actual front master cylinder, those do need to be done by hand, just so you don't pull the seals out. But as for this, we'll just pull all this fluid out out of here, and you'll wanna. You want to brace yourself with the 14 millimeter and then the 11 and get it cracked open. And then just pull all the fluid out. Just let the tool do the work. I necessarily. Okay, so that's pretty much done, and what you'll see up top here is just nasty. Uh, you can really see where the fluid is has broke down up top. Let's see if I can get some pictures up here. And what we'll have to do is I'm going to end up lowering this before we go any farther of pulling this off. Uh, I'm going to have to clean the brake up, 
and probably that brake line and replace that line. I don't know. There's so much. Uh, there's so much breakdown of that seal up there. You just want to kind of once you put a new seal in there, you just want everything kind of be new. You don't really want to push a bunch of old seal into the new setup. So I'll, on the lift here, I'll go ahead and lower this down a little bit so I can get back into the brake cup. And thank you all my Amsoil customers because without you, I wouldn't have been able to get this lift. I know it's kind of hard to see here, but you ought to see what's inside this front uh, master, the master, master cylinder clutch cup. So I'll remove this clutch cup and, uh, I don't know, I got some new ones. I may put a new one on here and uh, it's just nasty looking. Make sure that you put your towel in case you have any excess fluid there. I want to get that brake fluid on your stuff. And more than likely on your bike, it's going to be eight millimeters. Sometimes people change these brackets. Looks like it might be a seven or six millimeter. And I will tell you this much, uh, these master cylinders can be a nightmare to bleed once you drain all the fluid out of it. Just like the front brake system, once it gets air into the system, I mean, you, it, you might have difficulty with this, and you may not. But if you bled all the air out, or all the fluid out of the line, it's going to have air in it. I'm telling you, it can be it can be a nightmare. That's why I use that pneumatic bleeder. It eases that operation, that process, so much easier. And once I get this brake cup off of here, we'll just put a new brake cup on. But my God, the. The gunkiness inside of this is just unreal. But you're going to have this if you're working on a 18 year old motorcycle. You're going to have stuff like this happen that needs to be maintained for proper maintenance. And we'll just get a We'll just get a new brake cup fit on here. I've got plenty of these things.
let's get this bike lifted back up. I'll tell you this, I just love this, not having to crawl on the floor, get to have my back straight up. So much easier to work on stuff. Oh my God. Thank you, YouTube. And just like on the previous engine, we'll go ahead and we'll pull the three bolts off and then remove this master cylinder. Slave cylinder, whatever. And like I've said before in my previous videos, I truly am a believer, if you live here in America, ugh, of uh, AF1 Racing down in Texas, guys. I'm dead serious. Give them a call if you have one of these older bikes and you need parts. You can get right on their internet website. And that's not good. Really. Why am I getting oil? You know, you try to address one problem at a time here. We'll go ahead and remove, uh, well, I'm kind of upset about that. I'm getting oil all the way into this bowl. It smells really burnt. Well, we need to get the uh, the bleeder screw off of this. Before we remove the clutch mass uh, slave cylinder. There may be some excess fluid here. That's gonna run out. Put your towel underneath of whatever you're working on. And don't forget your crush washers on the top and the bottom. And then we're going to remove our other two bolts. That's kind of, it's starting to worry me a little bit about the, uh, the oil. I'm going to find out if my case is broken. Then we'll just remove this and the housing off of here. We'll 
thank God I'm not leaking fluid. I'm not leaking fluid from the the seal there. It's actually <laughs> that oil's coming from. That oil's actually coming out of that hole. Thank God it's not coming out of the, the engine seal. Okay, so we'll get back over. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the new Clutch Master uh, slave cylinder piece on, and we're actually gonna, we're gonna use some uh, grease for the shaft and the seal for the clutch seal and then I'm going to switch camera views and we'll I'll just get this installed here. Okay, so when you go to install this, okay, when you go to install this, you're actually going to push this uh, the slave cylinder, master cylinder, onto the rod as you put the bolts in to compress the spring as you're doing this, and you're just going to do this one at a time. and snug it up. Just get it snug because we're going to go back and torque these down. And when we torque these down, the torque setting should be approximately, I believe it was 12 Newton meters, which I'm not 100% sure what that is in inch pounds or foot pounds, but all these bikes, they basically force me to buy all my tools for Newton meters. So just get these three bolts in here snug and don't torque them down and we'll come back and retorque them. But, it, but you really need to compress that spring when you're installing this. And then these will be torqued down to 12 Newton meters. Now I ain't gonna be able to get to the end of that bottom one. We'll just have to <laughs> tighten that one by hand. Okay, now we're gonna install our bleed uh, our bleeder screw in the top uh, bolt that goes into the, the slave cylinder. And don't forget you need brand new crush washers for your copper line when we do this. So it's really important that you get a good seal in there. If you re don't reuse the old crush washers, uh, just go ahead and buy new. And I believe they're, they were the M10s. So they should be the same as if you were going to do your front brake lines. M10 by 1.0 millimeter. Funny thing was when I actually started disassembling that bike with that other motor in there, um, Put the new crush washers on here. Um, they actually, the old master cylinder, the bike had sat so, for so long that the old master cylinder had corroded the bleeder screw so bad that I actually broke the bleeder screw in the front brake master cylinder and had to drill it out and tap it. So it basically destroyed that front master cylinder 
that I was going to use for parts and when I managed to get the bleeder screw out of the front master cylinder I wallered the hole so I couldn't couldn't reuse that master cylinder so make sure you clean everything up before you put this back together and if your brake line or your clutch lines a little it might be a little iffy to get this in here just take your time because you're gonna have to line this up perfectly and then it'll thread in there just kinda with your fingers there kinda push the clutch line toward the back end of the bike and it'll it'll start to thread and then as you're going to crush these crush, crush washers you're going to want to hold the clutch line so it doesn't move see if I get to hold the clutch line to tighten this down And then we'll go ahead and install our bleeder screw onto there. There we go, we'll get some new fluid in here. Okay, so I basically got everything installed back and cleaned up and we're going to we're going to lower the lift and then we are going to get some brake fluid in there and hopefully this thing won't leak uh, using dot four uh, Amsoil synthetic brake fluid so we'll see what happens go ahead and crack this open and I can tell you right now it's going to take quite a bit of fluid and quite a bit of time so I might fast forward through this but this is quite a process to do this this just doesn't happen in a couple minutes so we'll go ahead and get started here you need to keep an eye on your brake fluid so your brake cup never runs dry you've got to constantly have fluid going in And if you got a buddy that can help you, this is 10 times easier with two people.
Now I think I've got it bled, uh, but we're gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead and cycle through it a couple more times. I've actually had to on these uh, hydraulic slave cylinders. I keep calling them master cylinders or slave cylinders. Actually had to basically tilt the bike to get the little bit of air that's in it to come up through the through the bleeder screw. But I think I've got it. So the the handle is really tough and uh, strong now up top. But uh, there's really only one way to find out, and that's to fire it up and see if the back tire moves. So we'll go ahead and bleed it a couple more times, and then hopefully we'll be done here. Okay, well, couldn't get started. Uh, having some battery issues. This is a brand new battery, and every time I click it over, it ta -ta -ta, it's not starting right. So I think I'm gonna have to change the the battery cables and start with the relay before I do that wire mod. Um, not a big fan of having to cut in and rig stuff up because stuff is so old. But I'll, I'll go ahead and try to get this started here, and then we'll, we'll see if the clutch works.
Okay, so if you survived this lengthy video, uh, you can see that uh, doing the entire process like I did actually worked. It really made a clunk there that first time I used it, but other than that, the response that I have is tremendous compared to what I had before. Um, I've got a few pictures that I took of that old master cylinder that I'll throw up. That old master cylinder, uh, slave cylinder, was so wore out and nasty, and the, uh, both the seals were starting to break down. The one on the shaft started swelling up and the one on the inside is totally broke down. But uh, yeah, I appreciate you watching. Please subscribe, check out my other videos, on, uh, check out my playlist. I've got a real good playlist on there. And uh, don't forget to check the links below. I'm gonna start listing some Aprilia stuff that I have um, at the house on my eBay store, so don't forget to do that. And uh, if you need a dot four, you know, high performance uh, brake fluid, if you're gonna do this job yourself, don't forget to check the Amazon links below. Go ahead and pick up some oil. Get the dot four. There's a couple other things you could pick up: the Miracle Wash, the Quick Shot for your bike. Uh, if you're going to work on your forks, I got a great fork video for that. Um, other than that, I'm at here, and I really like making these videos a little longer. So I hope you enjoyed them, and uh, leave a comment below if you want.